Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I have got the person that I have not failed to mention in any of these uh, episodes so far and it's the white witch herself, Marie Reynolds. And here she is. Hey. <laughs> so Hello. Marie, obviously I just called you a white witch, which That's all right. I don't know how many people would find that a compliment or not, but I, I mean it in a complimentary way. Tell That's everyone, right. Tell everyone what you do. Well, um, I suppose what I do, I, I like to be called um, a wellness therapist, but people call me like I've been known as the witch of the West End or the white witch or anything, you know, whatever suits. I'm, I'm pretty cool with any of it. I'm fine. You know what I'm like? goes right in my head. <laughs> but um, basically, um, I mean, I suppose in London, I'm known as a skin therapist, but the skin was really just a byproduct or a by um, thing of what I do internally because your skin is just a barometer of what, goes on internally so um the majority of my work in london is the master lift i used to do the wellness in london but for me you know what i'm like a lot of it is to well a lot of my work all of my work is to be as authentic as i can and i just don't want people to just sort of like feel that they're coming in ticking a box to say that they've seen me just have a wellness treatment and that's not what i'm about it's no. about authenticity, making sure that we can get the best out of your health and well-being so that's what I do, really. Yeah, and you're kind of like, well, the first time I met you was years ago. You were the first person that ever gave me a treatment that I didn't have to pay for. <laughs> I'm, I'm honoured. <laughs> Before, like when I had no idea what this whole blogging lark was, basically, and it was, yeah. it blew my mind. I was literally like, I don't understand. I don't understand, but I'm, I'm well up for it, basically. Um, and... I had a treatment with you and you looked at my feet yeah. and you told me all kinds of things, true things about me and how I am as a person more than just what my feet look like or, you know, uh, how I, how I look, it was about how I felt and what, and what I was doing as well. So explain that a bit like the foot thing. When, when I talk about, you know, looking at people's feet and ears, people yeah. think it's like a party. <laughs> yeah. And backs. But people think it's a party trick. And that's one thing that I want, you know, to swerve away from. Because as soon as you sort of like, you devalue what it actually is. So basically, we're all walking, talking human novels. So I just know how to read the sentences. That's all. Because if you look at a tree, where a tree is plant, planted, if the soil is rubbish or if the environment is rubbish, it can tell on the bark. It can tell on the branches. It can tell on the leaves. So that's how I look at it. We all have something called an implicit tissue memory. Our brains don't always remember. Now, I've got to be careful because sometimes when I talk, you go glazed over. <laughs> it's as if to say, what the hell is she talking about? I'm like, but, oh, yeah, let me just record this. <laughs> <laughs> but basically our tissues remember our bodies remember so you know for instance i can look at the back and and you can tell by looking at the back whether you've eaten late at night because the spleen or the area where the spleen is might be a little bit engorged or the or the liver in particular will be engorged um so really it's just taking note of what the body's doing and the different zones in the body and the feet the feet are the roots of the tree so basically um you can look at the feet and you can tell whether they're, you're yanked into the world, whether you're born by a C-section or, uh, or um, Bontus or forceps. You can look at the length of the toes to see whether your first, second, third or fourth conceived come from mother's ancestral line, father's ancestral line. Whether you're a stomach type person, that means that you're a swan and water padding like hell underneath. Um, all sorts of things. So literally, I just, I'm reading the human novel and there's nothing psychic about it. Nothing psychic about it at all. You've just got to be, I mean, obviously you've got to have some sort of intuition, but it's just being really mindful of what the body is going through. Yeah. Which is why the whole witchy thing is not really accurate. But I just, I think it's more the fact that you tune in very quickly into people's frequencies. Yeah. Well, I, th I think the thing is really, it's like what I do it's, it is hard to understand because it's not something tangible. You can't see it and you can't feel it and you can't touch it. So if I'm talking about energy and if I'm talking about implicit tissue memory, because people don't get it, it's easy to devalue what, what I do. It's easy to say, oh, you know, she, she's away with the fairies or she, which is fine. But once I, you know, tell you and explain it, it's like when I was telling you about the imprinting of the skincare, it's like, yeah. oh my God, what is going on now, right? So, you know, all of these imprinted things, but because you can't see it or feel it, but then 
we accept it when we can feel emotions, but yet you can't actually touch emotion, can you? you? You can show emotion in your actions, but if I said to you, I want you to give me, physically give me, you know, anger, apart from a punch in the face, but <laughs> <laughs> if you can give me like anger, or if you can give me irritation as something, you know, show me it like a, like a hand, you can't do it. Yeah. You can feel it, experience it, and that's the same with energy. So the energy stuff is a lot of what you do now, isn't it? Yes, it's primarily what I do, yeah. It is. Uh, you know, it's, it's, we all, every single thing in this universe has a signature, has an energetic signature. It's a stamp. And it's say like the a, thing, a, Say the thing about the opera singer and the glass. Okay, so, so you understand it. So basic. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna just have a little sip. Now you'd be proud of me. look. I'm not all three total. So cheers, right? And as I said, a glass of red wine is good. It's good for you. It's full of resver resveratrol and antioxidants. But I didn't have any red wine in the house, so rosé. So cheers. Mm. Cheers, Marie. Oh, anyway, with um, our cells. Everything has a signature, everything has a frequency. So um, when we are in balance, that frequency, you have a good signature. So it's a little bit like you and I talking over this internet. We've got a good, good um, connection. Now, if there is an interference, so let's just say if our mobile phones next to us are causing an interference, that would be like a pathogen in our body. Now, pathogens can be anything from heavy metals, from parasites, mold, bacteria, and people freak out when, when we mention about worms and par parasites. But we're primarily, you know, 99% bacteria, only like 1% human cells. Everything is walking, talking bacteria, but we have bacteria and molds and, and parasites and heavy metals and chemicals from, from skincare, makeup, hair, body washes foods, everything. So they all have their own signature frequency and they store in our DNA. So basically what happens is, is that I will look at your frequencies and if there's a frequency that is causing a negative reaction, let's just say a frequency of, you know, a heavy metal or something like that. If it's causing a negative reaction, then we do something called inversion. Now, when you invert a frequency, that means that it goes back on itself or you match it. And that's exactly like the opera singer matching the frequency of the glass. And that is why the glass shatters. So that's where you have the inversion. Um, and then, you know, I print it either in homeopathic remedies or microchips or skincare. So the skincare ones, you know, you can imprint things like frequencies of different vitamins and orthomolecular things. So all sorts of goodies that you can imprint into the skin. Yeah, I mean, that I think is amazing because it's like, obviously people are really focused on like bespoke products now and, and a bespoke routine. And this, it doesn't get any more bespoke than that really, does it? When you're actually imprinting different frequencies into skincare, it's kind of mind blowing, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's quite witchy stuff. Yeah, I mean, I love, I love all your stuff. You know how much I love your products. And everyone that's yeah. tried them does as well, really. And I'm literally... I was, I was blown away the other day when you did your first one of these. And, you know, they're all like going, oh, what, this and this? And I was thinking, oh, that's so lovely. I was really touched by that. It was lovely. I know, because the thing is, I literally... People think I'm in the Marie Reynolds cult. <laughs> <laughs> Because if anyone says anything like, oh, I've got this or I've got that, I'm like, oh, do you, have you tried uh, Marie Reynolds Restore? <laughs> <laughs> because literally, Thank you. It, it fixes everything, doesn't it, that mask? That's the crazy thing about it. It's like, yeah. if anyone says, oh, I've got like, this or I've got that, and I'm like, have you tried to Restore by Marie Reynolds London? And it's like, I'm literally like in a cult. And, and, and I've been, I have, they have said like, is this a cult? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing, yeah, I'm, I'm putting my witchy poo powers out. Um, but the thing is, and that's why it's with, with the skincare, I mean, I never, you know, I never ever wanted to get the skincare out there. It's like, I was thinking, oh, you know, it's just so much grief. I mean, obviously I'm very proud of it. And, um, but I initially did restore because I was treating a lot of skin wounds and scar tissue and things like that. And I've always sort of like mixed up my own little things and, and done my own little bits and bobs. But for me, even though I've been in the skincare industry for a long time, since God was a boy, you know, I've always thought that, you know, actually, rather than focusing on all of these little labels that we have, like acne, rosacea and sensitivity, you've got to think, 
a bit deeper and wider. It's like you're always focusing on the full stop rather than looking at the centers. You've got to understand why these things are occurring. So all I wanted to focus on on the skincare side was mainly just repairing or supporting the lipid barrier because your lipid barrier stops bacteria from forming and moisture from losing and feeding the microbiome. Now your microbiome is changing every single day, you know, depending on, you know, environmental factors, foods, all sorts of things. So that's why with the Restore, there's the A-strain probiotic that actually helps balance that and feed the skin. And then you've got the uh, hemp protein as well, which is very healing. Yeah, it's, a, it's a amazing. I literally use it for everything. I actually always want to lick it when it's on. Yeah, but face. see, the thing is, the dogs, I mean, like with Archie, bless him, he's not been well, has we? And we've done him some magic potions on, on him. Yeah. And same with Ava, like my, my dog. I mean, we was told that, in fact, she's not, they won't, wouldn't give her any inoculations because they said that she's not going to live. There's no way that she'll live. And I thought, well, I'm not having that. So... Yeah. I tested her blood and then I've imprinted the, uh, the frequencies and she's nearly two and she's bouncing about. But yeah, give, give, she loves the store as well. She's gorgeous. She's the one that Archie, he, she wouldn't back down to Archie when Archie was shouting at her, would, it, would she? No, 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 she don't. She she's, gives it some. Yeah. <laughs> but Archie, I absolutely adore that dog. I'm obsessed every time you just put those pictures of his teeth. I love him. <laughs> Even when he's so badly behaved at your house. But hey. No. Oh, he's a lad. Listen, there were three bitches here. He's allowed. Yeah. <laughs> um, Marie, right. So obviously everything is completely upside down in the world at the minute. Like we're all over the place. Nobody knows if they're coming or going. I mean, I'm trying to have a record a video with you and there are people vacuuming just literally outside my door. They don't give a shit. I'm literally like, I'm like, actually, this is normal now. I mean, I can't ask for yeah. silence or. No, no, or, no, no. You know, this is not. This is like the what what how we have to be. So what are you doing? Obviously, you are you still able to treat people? Yes. Yeah, so what I'm doing is um, I'm doing lots of online consultations. Um, I did a IGTV on uh, how how to help to boost and support your immune system because mm -hmm. fundamentally, you know, it's really important that we. Uh, boost and support our immunity. Now, immunity is not just sort of like putting vitamin C's in, in our system. You have to really look at what you eat because the majority of our immunity is our gut. So you've got to be careful on what you're eating and making sure that your gut health is on uh, optimum. But also, you know, your mental and emotional health. You know, there's so many people panicking. And I think as well on social media, there's so many different things that are going on. There's so yeah. many different messages. That it's causing a lot of anxiety and it's causing a lot of hysteria, you know, that, that everyone's going, oh my God, oh my God. And I think what you need to do, I've always said this, haven't I? I mean, that you've got to paddle your own canoe because if you imagine your canoe is in front of you and there's like an energy man, if your energy man's leg is in someone else's canoe, so if you're listening to something else, you're going to go on their journey. So you just got to focus on your own little unit and making sure that you're responsible for your own actions. So yeah, social distancing, making sure that you're, when you go out, that you're far, farther away from people, like two meters at least, um, keeping your immunity, you know, in check, um, hydrating um, and being kind to one another. I know that's like really yeah. banded about, but you know, social media is, it can be one of those things. What do you think? It can be really uplifting, but it can also tear you down. I mean, we know that and it can tear you down and, I think it's really important, especially now, to not be judgmental of other people, mm -hmm. to not give other people, you know, a bad time if they're posting something or, you know, unless it's negative, then if it's negative, just ignore it, yeah. you know, and just make sure that everyone's uplifted. That's why I'm trying, I posted a joke yesterday, you know, because I don't want it to be all about, so, you know, you have to do thing. this, do that, blah, 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 and all the rest yeah. of it. You know, you have to think, okay, um, what have I got in my life at the moment? And, um, you know, think of, the, of all of the jobs that you haven't done that you can do, yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm very lucky to be in a beautiful place, you know, and, you know, we've got lovely grounds, we can walk around and, and I'm really lucky. But yeah, in the clinic, I've been still been doing um, lots of consultations um, because I do free consultations. I've always done free consultations because I think that's important to give back. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, just offering lots of advice where I can and just sort of like helping locally, you know, some vulnerable people where I can. Yeah. So that's what what are you doing like personally in your own like routine to, to Hoover's going again, to uh, <laughs> stay calm and, 
and just feel better are you are you just stick are you, what's your little pick me ups and what do you do well i'm i'm a pretty logical person over things anyway and you know like with all of the energy therapy i just think right okay well what can we do so i put myself on the on the machine every day just to make sure that i boost my immunity um, that's the bioresonance machine um, like for Olivia, my daughter, um, I've been imprinting immunity chips. So I'm sending her because she's in London. So sending that down. And again, you know, I've been using Viracord every day. You can use that as a, a preventative. So Viracord is a homeopathic remedy. Yeah. And basically what happens is we have virones in us. So as I said, where we have all of these different things in us. But it's really important to have our own community of viruses and pathogens and all sorts of things like that because then that makes our body adaptable to, to outside pathogens and attack. It's when they become imbalanced that that's when we become unwell. So the viral cord helps to keep that balance um, in check. So, you know, as a preventative, you just take 10 drops a day. But when you're feeling as though you've got a virus, if you've got a high temperature, or if you're feeling a bit grotty, then you take two pipettes twice a day. Um, drinking plenty of water. This was part of the recommendation that you made in that IGTV, didn't you? Which I'm going to um, put a link to that IGTV in the description box because I basically watched it and ordered everything. Yeah. Literally yeah. the whole shopping list. <laughs> well, the thing is, the thing is with that is that I think you wasn't on your own and everybody did it and I'm literally cleared out. So the throat spray in particular, because obviously my supplier as well, they've been cleared out. Yeah. So it's just trying to wait. So we're looking at another three to four weeks before that gets com that comes in again. But there are other things that you can do, you know, Spectrum in, that's, that's out of stock at the moment, but that will be in stock very, very soon. Yeah. Spectrum in has... Um, 72 ionic minerals and it is amazing product to use not only in your water but yeah. you can use it to rinse your mouth out you can use it in your bath it's fantastic so you know little things like that um and also hydrogen water i mean i've just uh, hydrogen the h2 i mean i've got this to counteract my wine but the hydrogen water um basically what it does it's a little um h2 cap so it's a cap that you fit on any water bottle and it turns all your water into hydrogen water which means that it has a really high um antioxidant uh component in it um and it is excellent for overall health and well-being i mean i've i've used hydrogen water for years and years and years but now you know i'm selling the h2 caps which are fantastic so what do you do what bit do you buy show me that thing again so this, you buy the, this is the actual, uh, so this is the H2 cap. It comes in a little kit. So it comes in with, you get, bear with me, bear with me. So you get this water bottle. Now this is PBA free. Okay, so it's, it's, it feels plastic, but it isn't, it's Triton. Okay. Um, and then you get this little thing here. So this is the cap. Okay. And what you do, you take the lid off. If I can take on, oh, screw it, you don't put it. <laughs> it's because I've had that wine, see? <laughs> see, I get pissed really easily. <laughs> so, look, I can't even find the camera. Where is the camera? There it is. Yeah. Right. So, you take the cap. So, there's the cap, and it's got a little USB, and it charges the water. So, basically, what you do, you, you fit it on any bottle, and then you attach the USB to either a power bank or your computer, and it will turn your water into hydrogen water. Now, hydrogen water has the highest antioxidant component. They are expensive. I mean, they retail at 280 pounds, but I've, I've reduced it to 250 and I've reduced it to even more while we're going through this corona hell. Do uh, I need 250. one? I think everybody needs one, but again, it's an investment really. You know, it's, it's a lot of money to ask for people to, to pay, even 215, I've, I've reduced it to, to as much as low as I can. Um, but they are invaluable. Once you get them, you can use them on anything, and you, you just carry them with you, so that even when you're out, if you get if you get a bottle of water, you can actually put that cap on any bottle. So it is an invaluable little um, investment, in my personal opinion. Because I might get one. Yeah, they are fantastic. Well, at the moment they're on pre-order, so if you order, um, uh, they'll come with you within a week. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's yeah. what I might do after this then. Yeah, because they are, you know, they are invaluable. Um, I mean, I wouldn't be without mine. It's, it's just fantastic. Um, and so, so does, that, does that one cap just work for one person, basically? Would you have to, if you... No, you can use it. No, you can use it. The whole family can use it. 
you can, whole family can you just put it on the bottle yeah turns the water into hydrogen water yes and then you take it away and it's the water's still hydrogen water yeah yeah once it's charged it's charged so you just drink it you just drink it as normal and then you just you know just keep every time you, you have a bottle of water fill the bottle of water and it takes three uh three just over three minutes to charge so with the, with this h2 cup now there are hydrogen um water uh bottles that you can get on amazon and things like that but the difference is right i've got again right right i'm going to tell you this i'll go slow right so the difference is when you charge water or when you have water normally it has no pbbs now that means it has no antioxidant uh, um, uh, action to it so it'll hydrate you it'll hydrate you that's fine but when you charge it with with hydrogen water or with this h2 cap it then charges it to a thousand pbbs which is the highest one on the market so um well, it's very good so that's something good to do i because i feel like at the moment we all feel so out of control that it's things that make you feel like you you're taking control of the situation that actually get you through the day yeah but that's that's the, the classic thing isn't it you can't overthink about things that you've got no control over if you've got no control over it, you're going to drive yourself insane. Yeah. So just focus on the things that you can control. And that's like improving your health and well-being, improving your mental and emotional state. You know, if you're feeling yourself going a bit stir crazy, go for a walk as long as you're distancing. Mm -hmm. You know, go out in the garden. And I know people think I'm mad, but get your shoes off and put your feet on the ground and just relax and chill. You know, go out and do some old fashioned stuff. Get a book and read a book. Even if you read a chapter, yeah. out in the garden with your feet on the ground you know it's just really calming really soothing you know and that is a scientific fact because that improves the natural action because you're you're earthing you know people think again it's like new age crap by hugging a tree or going up by by the beach but earthing is a scientific fact you know the, the lightning draws down these negative ions into the earth and that's what we draw into our house to yeah. neutralize the electricity now, when we are electrical beings, we are energetic beings. So when we, you know yourself, when you go to the beach, you feel so much better, don't you? You know, if you're walking along the beach, yeah. you know, you feel so much better. If you're not, I'm not talking about sunbathing. I'm talking no, about, I, like, <laughs> I know I saw your face then. I'm talking about like walking in a, on a fresh day, you know, with the waves crashing and things like that. You, yeah. you feel so much better. Or even if you just go to the, the woods, you feel so much better. Yeah. So if you're getting a little bit of, you know, cabin fever, just get out in the elements. Just, yeah, no, you know. The, actually, the beach on a cold day is incredible. We, 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 I told you we went to Margate for Christmas and we took Archie to the beach and he was like, he was the happiest he's ever been. He's clearly a beach yeah. boy. He literally, yeah, yeah. Like, let me just, let me grab him so that you can get to see him quickly. Yeah, I wanna... <gasps> Archie! Yeah, let's Archie! Hello. <laughs> he knows I'm in the house he's like i was asleep oh, oh archie i love that dog oh my god he's i do i'm so <laughs> i'm so obsessed with him and also that's another thing it's like if you've got dogs that really helps doesn't it i think yeah absolutely absolutely yeah. you know you know pets are, are amazing um you know just give them a hug and you know yeah. they're all right this is that lovely hormone in your oxytocin no but it's lovely archie <laughs> oh shut his teeth <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, mm. I love his teeth. I love his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so, Marie, thank you so much for coming to meet me today with the wine. Cheers. Cheers. It's an absolute Chin chin. Bottoms chin, chin. up. And I'm also, hatch. I'm going to put all your. I'll put all your info in the description box. So, including your uh, Instagram and your website, which is where you can get all those amazing immunity boosting products which i have literally lovely. well if, if i've left any all right then well it's been lovely thank you very much archie say say bye marie bye see you later bye god bless bye